So here we are, uh, start of a new year, and uh, we're going to talk about guitars. Best thing in the world. And um, so I hope you had a, a really good Christmas time, and uh, I hope you're having a great start to your 2023. So this is our very first shipping video of 2023, and I'm going to assume that you don't know what this is all about. And uh, I'm going to just fill you in. So basically every week, we bring together all the guitars that we completed the week before, have a look at where they're shipping out to around the world, and, uh, and just give you guys a shout out. And it's a really nice way just to look at all the different specs and uh, for you guys to see the different variety of the guitars that we build here. So, um, so yeah, it's been a really nice time. Uh, always at Christmas time here, we closed down the, the production factory for, um, for about a week or 10 days. So everybody's refreshed, ready to go again. And, uh, and yeah, this is the, the first batch of guitars that are leaving the building this year. So, um, so we'll just jump in. Uh, have a look at some guitars. So the first one is going out to Shari in uh, Nova Scotia. And uh, this is one of our X7s. It's uh, our X7 finished in green carbon. Uh, the inlays here are the, the gold vines. And uh, it's a beautiful combination with the green. Uh, green carbon back and sides and uh, the high vibe pickup system. And I don't go into all the details on all the pickup systems. So if you haven't seen the high vibe pickup system before, uh, Go to our YouTube channel and, uh, and you'll be able to find detailed explanations of what that does and what it's all about. Um, so another X7, and the X7 I should say is, uh, is our small body guitar. It's a 24 inch scale, so a little bit shorter than a normal scale length guitar. Nice compact body and a really nice parlor size guitar. Uh, this one's going out to Guy in Ontario. The veneer on the top of this one is Candy Stripe Paduk and uh, it has this beautiful coloration between the reds and, uh, and the light browns and uh, it's uh, called candy stripe because the stripes kind of like candy uh, really is beautiful isn't dyed in any way this is an entirely natural process this is how it uh, it is um, comes naturally from the tree and uh, really really beautiful um, back and sides on this one is red carbon and uh, there is uh, no pickup system in this one, so it's a pure acoustic. Gary in California has gone for an X10, and uh, this is a beautiful X10. Uh, this is uh, Royal Ebony with a red transparent over the top. And if you go into our website, you'll uh, be able to find in the 3D Builder where uh, you can choose all the different veneers, you find the positioning, and then you can add a color onto certain veneers. So a Royal Ebony is a really nice veneer to add color to because there's this great contrast between the light and dark wood and uh, you're going to see a red harborica in a minute and then a natural harborica and that'll give you a good um, uh, vision of just how that uh, changes the, the look of the guitar but um, yeah royal ebony with red uh, is really striking you get these beautiful deep reds and uh, and then the black and you know first sight this might almost look like a big black block but whenever you actually get in there, it's got this beautiful marbling and a lot of detail going on in there. Um, so uh, it's a really, really fascinating guitar. Um, inlays here are uh, the Celtic knots in white and then a red carbon back and sides. Don of Colorado has gone for the X20. And uh, the X20 is our, our ever popular model. Um, we were going running through the numbers and uh, we almost tied between the X20 and the Virtuo uh, for sales last year. And, uh, but yeah, the X20 is, uh, has always been our most popular model. Uh, really good balance between uh, compact and comfortable size with the ergonomics on this, but it's, uh, it's actually about the size of a dreadnought, but feels much smaller, more compact. Um, great powerful sound, has real good balance between uh, mids and trebles uh, and bass. And, uh, and yeah, just a great all-rounder. So uh, this one, this X20 is finished in, bl in blue carbon and uh, a blue carbon back and sides. And, uh, and again, this one's a, a pure acoustic finish. And that's going to Dawn in Colorado. And then another Dawn, uh, this Dawn is in Newfoundland. And this is the Red Harborica. And actually, I'm just gonna go and grab the other Harborica guitar. So, uh, so you can see that this veneer would have started off with the, with this kind of coloration and then when you put the transparent red over the top uh, it gives you that so uh, so you can see a really nice uh, option if you like a little bit more color so looking at, uh, at Don's guitar uh, as I said red harborica uh, it's got that beautiful contrast and coloration 
and it's got a really nice glow to it as well. The Harborica has, uh, has a really nice uh, grain structure that really reflects the light and um, it uh, has a lot of depth to it. So um, uh, yeah, really sort of iridescent, I guess is the right word. Uh, fretboard inlays is the, the gold Celtic knots and uh, then a vibrant red back and sides. And uh, I think the vibrant red has that same iridescence as the red on the top. So beautiful combination. Pickup system there is uh, again the high vibe and uh, our nice carbon bridge. So we're getting into three of our Fireburst guitars. This one is going to uh, Cheshu, I think, in uh, New Jersey. And um, uh, so the Fireburst, we launched the Fireburst back in, uh, I guess it was November. Am I right? And uh, it's a limited edition to celebrate 10, or 10 years of the X20 model. And um, the features that we've got on this is a hand-selected uh, piece of quilted maple. I selected all the pieces specifically for this and absolutely amazing quilted maple, maple as you can see on here. Uh, each one of them is uh, signed and numbered. Uh, we've done this inlay, the, um, the ohm inlay on the fretboard, and, uh, which is ancient Celtic ohm writing. Uh, and uh, I do these all by hand, so you're going to notice that each one of them is slightly different. And uh, it's nice to have that variation in them. Keep them looking like they were uh, very much handcrafted, um, which is the, is the idea with that. And uh, Phoenix Orange back and sides. So, uh, so these have been uh, really, really well received. I think there might only be a couple of them left and uh, out of the 20 that we did on the limited edition. So uh, it's really nice to see them being so well accepted. Um, it's got that uh, adjustable bridge pickup as well with the, uh, the, the GraphTech piezos and the K&K Pure Minis inside. So second one's going out to Kevin in Texas. And you can see that same specification and uh, just slightly different on the, on the ohm inlay. And then the last one is going to Tom in Colorado. So it's, it's been really nice uh, seeing these coming through and, uh, and seeing that vision that we put together. And this was sort of a, I guess, a joint venture between uh, myself and, and, the, and my painter. Uh, had a big input into this just in coming up with the new colors that we created just for this guitar. And uh, yeah, they're really beautiful. So, Timothy in New Hampshire. Check this out. This is an absolutely beautiful 12 string. So it's an X20 12 string with uh, purple quilted maple. So we take the purple, uh, or we take the quilted maple, uh, we dye it with purple, and uh, we also put a transparent purple over the top, and it gives this just amazing effect. So much depth to it, and uh, that really beautiful purple color, and uh, purple carbon back and sides. So it's like a it's more darker, subtle purple on the back and sides, uh, but contrasts beautifully with that top. So um, yeah, we've talked a lot over the last while about our 12 strings. Uh, we're going to be doing a big push on our 12 strings this year because we just believe in them so much. And uh, carbon fiber is just such a great, great way to build a 12 string guitar. So much more stable. Uh, I think tonally it really, really suits a 12 string guitar. And uh, we can just build them with such accuracy and, uh, and strength. So, uh, so that's going to Timothy in New Hampshire. Then Kevin in Massachusetts. Uh, this beautiful 12 string that we just looked at a minute ago with the, the Harborica and uh, I love the coloration on that. You can really see that uh, sort of shimmer in the in that light uh, the light brown areas and, uh, and that beautiful black running through it. Uh, it's got the, the uh, gold dots on the fretboard and uh, black carbon back and sides. That's a, a really nice classy look there and the LR bags element pickup system. Then we're going to another 12 string with a six string attached and this going to another Don in Maryland. A lot of Dons this week. Um, so, uh, so this is our Chimera. So Chimera is our double neck guitar. Uh, we've been building these now for about 10 years and, uh, and I just love them. Uh, every one of them is just fantastic to look at but also a great instrument. Um, if you're looking for a 12 string guitar, it performs really, really great as a 12 string. If you're playing it as a six string, you get this extra like resonance that comes off the 12 string, even when you're only playing the six string. 
and then playing them together you can make some beautiful music. So um, so really fun instrument, uh, very musical and, uh, and very functional. I uh, actually saw some really nice pictures a couple of days ago of somebody using one on stage and, uh, and that just looked really, really cool. Um, so this one is Powell Farrell. It's got uh, an amber back and sides. And, uh, and the pickup system here, um, on the six string side, we've got a combination between the, the Graftech piezos and uh, the Crevo humbucker here. And, uh, and then we have another um, under saddle pickup here on the 12 string side. So a little three-way switch to switch between the necks and uh, an individual volume controls for, for each pickup there. So, uh, so it worked really well that way. And last one we've got this week is going out to Philip in Spain. And uh, another X20, this is an X20 Coco Bolo. Uh, Coco Bolo has that beautiful coloration between the dark wood and the light wood. And uh, getting very, very hard to find Coco Bolo at the moment. Uh, we did just get a little bit um, just back before Christmas. Uh, I think it's just been added to the builder. So jump on there. I think there's only enough for a few guitars. So, uh, so definitely jump in there and get something if you're interested in Coco Bolo. Um, inlays on here is the, is the white Celtic knots and then an amber back and sides. So uh, beautiful guitar to finish off with this week. So that's it for our custom builds. Uh, we're also going to have a look now at the end of the video in, uh, on our um, stock guitars that were already shipped out. And, uh, but yeah, it's been a really fantastic year in 2022. Thank you for everybody that watched the videos every week uh, for all the content. And uh, we're always looking for ideas. Tell us what uh, you've loved the most over the last year. And we're thinking at the moment about the next content that we're going to build for the coming year. And uh, we've got some exciting adventures planned. Um, so, uh, so yeah, we're really excited about 2023. Uh, 2022 was our biggest year ever. We're expecting 2023 to be even bigger. So thanks for coming along for the ride. And we'll see you again very soon.